guys, it's Miss Cruz, and this video is going to be about the volume of prisms and cylinders, and this is going to be part one. Okay, you should have your note sheet ready, your Cornell note sheet. And the first question, it says, what is volume? I want you to answer that question with this definition here. Volume is the measure of space occupied by a 3D figure. Okay, so we're talking about the space on the inside. Okay, the formula is also very important for volume, and that's going to be capital V, which is volume, equals capital B, which is the area of the base, times H, which is the height of the prism of the cylinder. And your height is going to be the height between the two bases. Okay, go ahead and pause it if you need to go ahead and write this down in your Cornell notes. This is very important. Okay, so having our formula here for volume, I've highlighted the base here of this figure for you. So this is the base that we're going to be using. Okay, this is going to be a rectangular prism. And our capital B is the area of that base. So my formula for that is length times width times the height of the prism. So the height's between the two bases. Okay, keep going. Length times width, which, which is 3 times 5 times the height, which is 12. Okay, simplify further. Now I have 15 times 12. Okay, so 15 times 12 is 180 millimeters cubed. And this 3 up here represents that we're doing 3D figures and we're finding the volume of this 3D figure. For surface area, we always put a 2 for squared because we were just finding area. Now we're actually finding volume, so make sure you use your cubed or your 3 your exponent of 3 for your units for volume. Alright, let's tackle our next figure. This is going to be a triangular prism. So I've highlighted the base for you to show you that it's a triangle. My other base is right here, so the height of this triangular prism is going to be 15. So let's plug in what we know. Okay, I put the formula here. We have capital B, which is the area of the base. And the area of the base is a triangle, so I plugged in the formula for that. One half times the base times the height. And then we multiply it by the height of the entire prism. Okay? So one half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. Okay? Times the height of the prism. Okay? One half of eight is four. So we have four times four times 15, keep getting smaller, and we have 16 times 15, and our volume of the triangular prism is 240 centimeters cubed. Alright, now it's time to try example 3 all on your own for independent practice, so go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Let's try example three now. Volume equals base times height again. So the area of the base, we have our base here highlighted in purple. And our base is going to be eight by five. The triangle is eight by five. So I plugged in eight times five for my base and height of the triangle. Okay, simplified it down. Half of eight is four times five times the height of the prism. So the height's always between the two bases. And then I had 20 times 4, and my final answer is 80 inches cubed. Now we're going to try example 4, and this here is a cylinder. And we actually have the same exact formula for volume. So volume equals the area of the base times the height. Okay, and I plugged in our formula for the area of the base. So for a circle, that's pi r squared. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and plug in our numbers here. So for pi, we have 3.14 times our radius squared, so our radius is 8, 8 squared, times the height of the prism, remember the height of the prism is always the number that's between the two bases, so this is the height here, times 9, okay, then we have 3.14 times 64 times 9, 200.96 times 9, went ahead and pre-did this for you, 
And then our final answer for volume is 1,808.64 feet cubed for the volume of that cylinder. Okay, now's the time to go ahead and try a cylinder on your own. So pause the video, try it to simplify on your own for independent practice. Alright guys, you should have gone, gone ahead and plugged in your numbers here. You should have used the same formula. So pi r squared for the base. And you'll notice here this base gave you the diameter. So the diameter was 4, so we know that the radius has to be 2. So 3.14 times 2 squared times the height of the cylinder, which is 12. And then we simplify to 3.14 times 4 times 12, which gave us 12.56 times 12. And our final answer for volume of the cylinder is 152.72 inches cubed. Okay, now that we've gotten through this, you're going to go ahead and go back and pause in places that you need to look through again or you need more help with. And don't forget to write your very important summary at the end of your Cornell notes. And we just want to know, we've noticed that through all of these examples, we've done three different shapes here, three different 3D figures. Okay? But we've used the same volume formula for every single one of those. Why is it possible? How is it possible that we've used the same formula to find the volume of all of these 3D figures? 